what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk guys we live in an era of clout fake gurus and make believe and because of social media and its evolution people appear to have what they do not okay and especially if they're associated with celebrities many rappers do this you will see many uh, fake self gurus do this they will take pictures by cars they don't own or overspend money to try to impress people that don't care about them and then they end up broke and if you listen to them talk usually they're always talking about how broke other people are they're spending very excessively and they're bragging on their purchases. For an example, Ari Fletcher, who is the baby mama or girlfriend of Moneybag Yo, I don't know which one she is, but she's always bragging about what she does for him and what, you know, she bought him some land and uh, what, what he got for her and this, that, and the third. But when you look at people like her, they don't have any real skill. And and the only way you can really make money all the time is to have skill because when you make a lot of money you don't have skill you don't save it like look at black china black china is absolutely untalented you make all that money you make millions of dollars selling feet photos on only fans now you're broke you never reinvested into your knowledge you never reinvested into any education and now you don't have anything well ari fletcher guess whose time it is yours You've now gotten yourself evicted. How do we know this? Well, she lives in some Buckhead apartments in Atlanta. And I, I, I talked to people who live in Buckhead. Um, I've talked to people in the Atlanta area about what the price is. Shout out to Brother Omar over at Urban Central. I've, I've talked to Alpha Male Strategy, talked to Kevin. I said, hey, I said, how much does it cost to live in, 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 in Buckhead around there? And everybody tells me, you know, in Buckhead, you can get by for about $2,500 to about $7,000 a month if you want like a penthouse. So I'm a YouTuber. I'm nowhere as near as allegedly wealthy or have the cash flow, maybe as like a rapper like Moneybag Yo or, or even Ari Fletcher. I can afford to live there and pay my rent easily. I can manage my goddamn money, okay? It's $3,000. Many of us who have normal jobs are paying a mortgage or rent in the United States of $3,000. Guess who can't pay it? Ari Fletcher. And I know that you're mad at me for thinking that I'm lying. Boom. There is the receipts. And Ari is always going around calling people broke all the time. Bragging on what she has, what other folks ain't got. But you haven't been paying your rent. All right? And... Look at all of this information, okay? Look at all this. You, I mean, you've, don't, you, you've dated all kind of boxers. You've dated all kind of rappers. Still, you don't have anything. And let me kind of relate this as going on right now in modern times. This is going to be a lot of these girls who are, who are chasing the clout, chasing lifestyle, okay? I'm beautiful. I'm young. I got a big booty. I can twerk. And I'm getting excessive amounts of cash. Nobody's ever taught me to manage it. Guess what? I'm going to overspend because I'm a, I'm enumerate and I can't fucking count. So I'm going to go broke too. And let me tell you guys something. The worst thing that you can do is get a with one, a woman who doesn't value money. It's the worst thing I've seen it happen with people in my personal life. I've had it happen to me. All that you need to do is get around an idiotic buffoon mate that doesn't know how to manage money, you and her will be out there homeless, then she'll go leave you broke for the next guy as she's getting him broke. And the reality is, is that this is what happens to people who don't reinvest back into either the businesses that they say they own, which they don't. People just have LLCs to write taxes off, but you don't have any kind of reinvestment or knowledge into the business or industry, and you don't manage your money well. And a lot of times people have a problem with this, okay? With all the information that's available on the internet, with all the information you have people in Atlanta that have you know, financial consultants and things, it'd be different if somebody stole the money, but nobody stole shit from you, you're just broke. 
And so many times you see black people. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to move to Atlanta. I felt like I would need to keep up with the Joneses, guys. You know, I, 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 I you know, you know, that's different. Kevin's there, you know, he got a nice car and stuff. You know, AMS is there. He's rich, you know. And here I am, you know, pulling up in the, in, in the 1992 Bu Buick Regal on 14-inch ramps. So I figured, like, man, you know, when I moved to Atlanta, if I move there, I got to get me a 2025 Benz, even though it ain't even out yet. Cause I'm not gonna be there looking dusty. I gotta represent for Sacramento. Guess what? I, I thought about it. So I, you know, if I, if I if I ever move there, I just don't give a goddamn. I don't care. I don't care. Because why? I have my own financial plan. If I'm not making as much money as these guys, it's okay. Maybe I don't have as much money as some of these rappers or some of these athletes. But I can I can be on my own pace to build my own nest egg, and that is exactly what I'm gonna do. And if a woman can't accept that. I don't need to be with you. But these people are always trying to spin to impress subscribers and followers, and you're broke. How can you not even afford $3,000 a day, a month? I'm sorry, it's $100 a day, boo. Literally, you can come to, you know, and I know you're getting you know, Instagram sponsored posts and you get money there. What are you doing with your money? Not valuing it, why? No real skill. What does she even do? I tell her all the time, you guys have a, a, a pretty good business. A pretty good run at something where's your reinvestment into what you do where's your reinvestment into some knowledge some coaching okay where is it you don't have it because you want to live for right now what about in the future okay let me guys take you guys back to memory lane 1999 i was um always finding myself in the 90s outside of Foot Locker, you know because i was trying to always get the new jordans and stuff like that Jordans were around 150, 175, something like that at the time. Nike stock was selling for $6 a share. If I would have invested that money into Nike then, I mean, the stock has went up 25 times, 24 times over now. $1,000 at that time is worth $25,000 now. If I would have just stayed in the market. That's just one example. I'm not talking about other stocks that have already quadrupled in 50, 60 times since then. But the reality is that I wasn't thinking for today. And a lot of young people don't think about the next day. You gotta have money for inflation, especially if you're a man, bro, because see, a woman, a woman might be able to come up from this. It's hard for a man to do it. You guys better stop trying to front for these people who don't care nothing about you, and you better start trying to save and invest your money and become a little bit more financially literate. Otherwise, you're gonna end up on the like, celebrity drunk, like Ari Fletcher, who's always bragging about how much land she bought money bag, yo, and you're broke. Well guys, what do you think? It's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson, back at it again. Another episode of The Celebrity Junk. I really appreciate you for all that you do. Subscribe to the bell, check out the first comment at the top. And as you know, the buffoon remains at all time high. I'm out.